What looks like an ordinary blanket or tarp in this video is actually a new vital tool that our local fire departments are now using to put out electric car fires. According to Roanoke Fire and EMS, damaged EV batteries usually spark those fires. If they're maybe overcharged or if they're punctured or if they're just uh, or if they go bad, they can burn. For a regular car fire, they would use water, but with electric vehicles, it's not that easy. He says the batteries will continue to burn, causing a chain reaction. That's where the toxic suppression blanket comes in, keeping the flames contained until the fire burns itself out. One battery igniting another, and it's, it's just a little bit more difficult than just putting water on it. Both Lynchburg and Roanoke Fire Department say their goal is to be proactive as the number of electric vehicles on the road continues to increase. We'd like to be ahead of it so that we're, we at least have a plan when it does happen. Now he tells me these kinds of fires are also pretty common in things like electric scooters like you might see cruising around downtown as well as buildings that use these sort of high powered batter batteries in their building. And he said that was part of the reason why they kind of sparked this idea of needing to implement this new training in case of emergency electric vehicle fires. I'm live in the newsroom, Anna McDougall, WFXR News.